Welcome to Hump Cinema. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and enjoy the video. Human. I once called you more than that. Didn't I? Even with all the fear I had about you, I found the strength to cast it aside. To embrace you. To support you. To call you my... friend. But now... Now? What is this feeling? <laughs> I know what this feeling is. It's hatred for the person who came so far just to destroy an old friend. With this eye of mine, it only activates when such terrible things exist. And with it, I can see everything you hidden from me before. Everything you done and everything you intend to do. Sands once told me that the moment he stopped caring would be the moment everything started to fall apart. At first, I thought he was talking about our relationship, so I tried to give him a reason to care about me. But now, I understand what he meant. And it's too late to tell him I'm sorry for not understanding sooner. It's a funny thing, isn't it? The more you want to hurt someone, the easier it is to make them stop living. But no matter how much you love someone, you can't bring them back from the dead. Sans is gone because he stopped caring. But I refuse to do the same. I care about so many things. I care about myself. I care about this world. I care about everyone you took from me. But the one thing, the only thing I no longer care about is you. I'm not going to give you a bad time. Someone like you, who has taken so much, does not deserve to be given anything. Instead, someone like you deserves an equal. Someone who wants to protect with the same ounce of determination you use to destroy. So, human, you're not going to have a bad time. Instead, I'm going to have lots of fun. It's true. <laughs> well, today was a damn blast. <laughs> you bet it was. Those snobs didn't chance a chance against us, right, guys? Plus, I can't remember the last time we raked in so much lunch gold from these weaklings. <laughs> and being on that skeleton bread sure was a good workout. That's what you get when you try to act all brave. <laughs> that was the best. And did you guys see that rock I threw at the little brat? That cracked his skull? It was perfect. Did you see how I picked on him after? It was awesome, right guys? <laughs> that shot was great. That brat probably cried all the way home. So what are we gonna do with this gold? Well, I know how I'm spending my share of it. Maiden shampoo. Gotta highlight my handsomeness for the cheerleaders. <laughs> That's a dumb thing to- Knock knock on on- Who's there? Bully. Oh, I love knock knock jokes. Bully who? <sighs> you idiot, don't just answer some freaky voice. Glad you asked. I think it's about time you Bullied you with your- Duh. What's wrong? Feeling a little blue? Ah, uh, ah, uh, what, what is this? Oh, what's the matter? Tired of hanging around? Well then, guess it's about to put you down. Get dumped on you brats. Hey Cora, after the planetarium, why not show Flowey more of the outside world? He, uh, he doesn't get to go out too much. I mean, only if you want to, Flowey. Oh, Cora, can we? Cara, darling, are you okay? You seem uncomfortable. I'm fine. It's just been a while. 
Hello, do you guys need money for the candy store and the ice cream? Sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice you were coming from the path to Tori's place. Yeah, we just came from there. Tell you kids what, I'll let you both pick out one small thing of candy, and in exchange, you let Tori know I want them to stop by for a nice cup of tea and a bit of a ketchup. Heck yeah! Well, come on in. Cara, just curious, what's the last thing you remember before suddenly seeing Asriel like this? I don't want to talk about that. Are you okay, Cara? I I'm fine. Why don't you ask As some questions for your bit? Flowey? What's your favorite kind of candy, Flowey? Butterscotch. But pull down the gummy worms, too. I want both for the trip to the planetarium with Kara. Wait, wait, wait. Butterscotch? Well, my entire worldview has been shattered. Well, of course. I still like gummy worms, but I tend to switch between both of them anyways. Hey, Azra, I mean, Flowey, are you alright? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> you sure want to go to the planetarium, don't you? Yeah. I bet you're finally glad you reunited with Kara. What are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, nothing really. It's just that perhaps you should spend this moment with each other the best you can. It's precious. You never know when you might, you know, lose it. Flowey, I think something is bothering Kara. I don't know if you've noticed or not, or if you really care now that they're making you happy. Just giving you a heads up. They know, don't they? That's why they're working so hard. No, gosh darn it, Kara's gonna have a good time too. OMG, Flowey is so freaking adorable. I'm always adorable, but we can get back to your worship of how cute I am after we give Kara a good- No, the greatest day ever. Yeah, let's do it, Flowey. I'll try to help if I can. <laughs> well, Flowey, what does Kara like to do? What did you two like to do together in the past? I'm sure they'd love to play with you again. Well, Kara's always just wanted to play with me. Did you guys have a favorite place to go? Of course we did. Kara was always the happiest in the few locations back home. The echo flowers, the wishing room, and the spot they fell. But they always said the spot they fell was our special spot. Although, I don't know how we'd- Maybe we could go there. How far away is it? I- I don't really know how to get back there. I was so focused on fighting Frisk on the way to tutorials, I didn't even pay attention to what was happening around me. <laughs> it seems so silly right now, but I still want to go back there. Maybe you can find a nice place on the surface they'd like, or you could pay a visit to Mount Evett. Nothing's stopping you. There's no place like the- But Flowey, how did you and Kara decide to eat buttercups and become your god form? What was the reason? As, did you pick out what you wanted? So Flowey, what do you think of Kara and what they did? Um, yeah, I- Then come over. Let's go to the planetarium. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah, I still want to do that. Is something wrong then? N no. Then what is it, As? I I wanted to do something to make you happy, but I- As, don't be silly. Don't you see? I am happy. Kara, the only way to make Asriel happy is to know you're happy too. You don't look very happy. As I- Come on, Kara, isn't there something you wanted to do too? I just want to spend time with you, As. <laughs> am I not allowed to do that? You are, but I meant that- Flowey, well, yeah, I honestly think Kara doesn't care where you go or what you do, so long as you do it together. I bet all they want right now is to hang out with their favorite sibling and see him smile. So just be happy, and they'll be happy too. I guess they're right. Let's go. So, what are you more interested in seeing at the planetarium, Flowey? The moon? The stars? Everything! Oh, you will not believe how many stars you will be able to see, even in the middle of the day. How many can we see? I bet it's 100. No, wait, 200! Oh, I hope you do have a good time, Flowey. How many do you think, Kara? 12. What? I can't wait to see you both learn about the constellations in the planetarium. What are constellations? <laughs> we'll find out when we get there, Asriel. Well, you seem to be really, really happy now, Flowey. I'm so glad you deserve to have some time to relax and enjoy yourself. Anything else you want to see while you were out and about? I'm not really sure how I know about too many places. The zoo, for example? What's a zoo? <laughs> Let's just focus on the planetarium. What? Why is... That's Some things never change. Okay, I can almost see the point of that original price raise. After all, some monsters might take up more than one seat or cover up things in slime or something, but that, that is not okay. Not okay at all. Racist. St stupid humans. Why do they have to ruin everything? Hey, you kiddos might need some admission money or money for souvenirs from the gift shop. It would be nice to get something to commemorate your visit. Maybe they sell star charts and stuff so you can pick up all the constellations at night. Oh, I'll take it! Look, Kara, we can go in now. Isn't that great? Yeah. Two, please. That'll be fifty dollars. Whoa! I don't understand. You look so sad when you see traces of Asriel and Flowey. Shouldn't that make you happy to know that he's still in there somewhere? Kara, I don't want to ask what's bothering you, but your brother really wants you to be happy today. To enjoy yourself. Whatever it is, as bad as it seems, you don't... Don't you owe it to him? To put it all behind you and enjoy what's happening right now, just for a little longer? Kara has blocked out all concerns about them. 
Here, have some ghost chocolate. Cora refuses to accept gifts for themselves. Hey, Flavia, I know the stars are quite stellar, but maybe you should check on your friend. Huh? Why is- Cora, is something wrong? Cara? Wait, uh, are you crying? Wait, why are you crying? You said you wanted to do things with me again. I, I, I've never seen you cry before. A Asriel. Cara? I I'm sorry. I I'm so sorry. Sorry? Sorry for what? I, I wanted to stay, but but I- Why can't you stay? I, I can't do that as I I want to, but, but I have to- I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't- I don't- I don't understand. You finally came back and- I know. I wish I didn't have to leave you all alone again. I- it's not fair. I don't wanna go. Brother? Hmm? There you are! As, as much as I encourage the exercise, brother, I think this is a little much for three in the morning. Are we in the hotlands? Yes. You were sleepwalking again, weren't you? Oops. Never been this far before. <laughs> Must have caught a chill and came here to warm up. Next time, I'll stand in a corner. Because, you know, they're 90 degrees. No joke, Sans! This is serious! Aw, oh, come on, Pap. No harm done, right? Besides, I can't help it, remember? Ah, <sighs> you're right. Luckily, I have come up with a temporary solution. A bell? Seriously, dude? Yes, seriously. At least until we solve this issue. Oh, boy. Now, I will know when you leave and where you are so I can safely return you home. Come on. Don't take it off, Sans! <sighs> I won't. I mean it! I won't take it off. I was really worried, Sans. This is the fifth time I've had to come out and look for you this week. I had no idea where you were. What if you went somewhere and something bad happened. I need to be there, you know? I don't know what I would do if... Oh, Pap. I'm alright. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. I know you can't help it. So, it is my responsibility as your brother to aid you through this problem. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, let's go home, Sans. Okay. Look at this! This is me in the future! And I'm a hero who will hit the bad guys! And use my super magic! Oh, so... you hit them. That's rough. Ah, how about you guys just sit down and talk? We need to talk. Could you give me your soul? No. Please? No. I beg you. No. Pretty please? Mm. No. <laughs> oh, she frisk. Look at his face. Kara, why did you lie to me? You know, I've heard a lot of good jokes in my time. I've even told a few myself. But you getting past me, <laughs> that's the best joke I've ever heard.